In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to download, install, and then connect to one of the Iron Realms games using the Mudlet client. It's very simple. As you can see, I'm already on the Mudlet site, which is www.mudlet.org. From here, I just click on their download button, and then I'm going to go down and click on the latest version. I'm using Windows, so Windows Mudlet 1.0.5. I'm going to click on that. It should bring me over to the SourceForge site, and it should actually start to download right away. All right, there we are. I've already actually downloaded it, but I'm just going to go ahead for demonstration purposes, uh, download it again. I click on that. Yes, I'll this is all, uh, save over it. And as you can see, it's listed right here on the bottom. I want to install it, so I can usually just click on that, or I could go over and click on it on my desktop. Uh, so I'm going to double click there. It asks me if I'm sure I want to do this. Yes, I am, so I click Run. That brings me up into the license agreement, which I agree with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I agree. Uh, now the uh, the program is asking me where I would like to install Mudlet. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the default, and I will just click install. It should just take a couple seconds for it to install. It's completed, so now I will click close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, browser now. As you can see, there's a Mudlet icon on my desktop, which is installed there by default. I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click on that. That should bring up the Mudlet client. Let me shrink that down to a size that we can see here. All right, so I have installed the client. Now I'm going to connect to one of the Iron Realms games. So I'm going to connect. I'm going to click on the connect button. And then from here, as you can see, we don't have an icon here to start with when you first fire this up. That will be rectified soon, and hopefully in the next version you'll start to see that. Um, so I need to create a new profile. So I'm going to click right here on New, and we are going to connect to Ikea. So for profile name, I'm going to type in Ikea. Now, you can do it with whatever game you are currently playing. If it's Empyrean, uh, Midkemia, Lusternia, or Atolia, uh, or all of them, you can go ahead and make a profile for every single one. Um, from here, so it, it actually doesn't really matter what you put here in the profile name. You can put whatever you want to remember what game you're connecting to. Uh, or like if it's for a specific character, like I'm going to connect with my character Loa, I could do something like that. All right, down here I'm going to put down the server address, which is just uh, your your name.com, so Ikea.com works in this case. The port for all of the games is 23. So if I want to connect to Empyrean, it's Empyrean.com, port 23. If I want to connect to Atolia, it's Atolia.com, port 23. It's the same for all of them. All right, down here it's optional. If you want to put in your character name and password, it will automatically connect that character uh, when I click on this profile. I'm going to go ahead and do that since I want to play with Loa. Uh, I'm not going to auto-connect on startup. What this does is when you start up Mudlet, it will automatically start up this profile. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd like to be able to pick what I'm doing, so I'm just going to leave that blank. All right, so it looks good. You can see it up here, so I know it's saved. Uh, from here, I am just going to click Connect and see how we do. And as you can see, I automatically connect to the game, and look, it automatically put in my name and password, so I'm already, already ready to go into the game. Alright, so hopefully that is a very simple, easy way for you to see how to download and install the Mudlet client. I'm a big fan of using third-party clients. If you're still using Flash or Nexus, that's great. Uh, but there are many advantages to using a downloadable client. For example, you'll be able to save all your settings on your computer. Uh, additionally, they are going to offer much more powerful settings for creating triggers and aliases. And the interface for creating your settings is, is going to be much, much better. Uh, if you have any questions about Mudlet or about our games, go ahead and ask on the forums and we will help you out.